again and welcome back to Clovis County and uh, specifically today the town of Chilperic. So last time we worked out this uh, winery. I think this came out really nicely. Uh, just sitting here looking at it. I think it'd be a great place to come and uh, enjoy a glass of wine if that's what you're into. I uh, can't say I have extensive uh, utilization of local wineries. Uh, I'm not classy like that, but I'd imagine this would be a, a good place. I have gone to one of the ones near me a couple of times for the uh, Sangria Festival that they have. That was a pretty good time. Um, one thing that the wineries near me have is uh, I'm in a very hilly area, and uh, you get beautiful views coming out the back of them. And you're kind of lacking that in this area, although you know, over here you have some, some water that we'll have to make use of at some point. Uh, but what I want to work on today is, I would imagine, you know, we have this budding farming community going on here. We're right off of our interstate. You know, the uh, city is developing down that way. The city has a lot of tourist amenities. So you would imagine that at some point when we connect this interstate to the edge of the map, um, it's going to be a very busy corridor and, you know, you might need things like uh, a rest stop or a place to get gas and, and services like that. So I want to design a little service area, you know, before you get into town, uh, something that you could get off the highway, get a bite to eat, get some gas and then get back on your trip. Um, you know, maybe uh, maybe you were down staying at one of the hotels off the beach. You know, you got back on the highway, just a city environment, and uh, you realize, oh, I didn't, I didn't get any gas. My kid's screaming in the back of the car. I need a snack. So I'd like to build something like that today. So I'm thinking if we come maybe about to here off of our main highway. And then we think about coming out just a little bit. So the asset that I want to use is semi-large. Let's give us enough space to work with. In fact, I'm going to want parking for this as well, so sometimes I forget where my parking roads are. How's that going to look if we go through there? Alright, so that's going to be fine. So let's just lay down a frame. leaving us four spaces inside, a little bit of parking to work with. So the other thing I want to do is think about getting um, a bakery from the Unique Factories. And we did level up our industry at one point. So I want to keep all this in mind because I'm going to put this in this area. I'm not going to put it down quite yet. And I think for the factory, I'm going to want to have a little bit more space for my road. I'm sorry, for my parking lots. I'd like to use one of the larger parking lot assets. Probably this one coming up through here. Perfect. So that'll be our lot for that. And let's get this one in on this side. Good.
Looks like I have to level this out a little bit. So I want to think about the fact that, uh, you know, in addition to using this as parking for the facilities we're going to build and develop, you might see it being used as a park and ride of forms off the highway. Uh, people commute into different places. You know, who knows what's going to come out here as we move out, other types of workplaces. Um... I know growing up, uh, my father utilized a park and ride. He had a over an hour commute to work every day. And uh, there was a large lot off of one of our local highways that allowed for you know, park and ride kind of activity. So I want to get a gas station asset. Uh, I think Maybe it's BP. Yeah, there we go. So we'll get the BP. I don't have any particular uh, alliance to BP. It just happens to be a gas station asset that uh, I found on the workshop that looks semi-decent. And then I want to use the Japanese unique buildings for the service area. A service station and restaurant, maybe. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, it's really big. Let's uh, smooth out the terrain issues that makes. So that has a ton of parking built into it. So I might consider removing some of this parking over here. I think I'm gonna call a mulligan on all of this. And I have a different idea. So we'll put this right up off of here. And then we're gonna have our road come around the back of it I'd still like those to be equal. Let's get some electricity over here for the time being. Oops, that's, uh, I downloaded that asset thinking it was something else. It is not a network like this one is. should all be functioning quite nicely. So we have this rather large service area and we can throw in, because we're off the highway and we are in somewhat of an industrial area, it's like with all the farm vehicles and I would assume trucks coming in and out, we're going to put a factory in. I want to utilize these truck gas pumps. So maybe we... Bring this so it really becomes a service area, right? And I'm 
probably see a little bit better in this mode here to line this up more accurately. Also, I think this might be something I want to think about creating a little drive road. can use surface painter to clear out some of this base in here. And maybe we'll put in The other gas pumps, no, that's probably going to be too big. Let's see if we can scoot that. Oh, perfect. And then I'd like to try to center that a little bit better. So this actually makes me think we don't need to be paid. So instead of the BP there, so this will, you would imagine this is our highway service area. You have your restaurants in here, uh, restrooms, things people can use, your large parking area. It's got its associated gas pumps. Um, instead of the BP, let's get something else in there, commercial related. I do like the idea of a Dunkin' Donuts. I think that is absolutely something. So I do only have this one, it looks like. I'm not. But that is absolutely something that you would see in a service area. Could probably move this back just a bit almost like it's a uh, you know people could utilize the drive-through now hit that with a surface painter and there we go a little service area So then in addition to the service area, right, I wanted to have a little bit of flair from the, the farm town kind of feel. Um, and we will expand our farming to have regular farms in this area along here. Um, and maybe some smaller, you know, independent family owned fields and stuff back here a little bit. Uh, so keeping that in mind that, you know, really, this is a, a farming area. I want to have a little market. So uh, we can use the eco-assets to create a little farmer's market kind of area. Little stalls.
And then if we use the regular gravel paths, take off road guidelines, you can really snap those through. Which is going to look really nice because it'll be uh, pedestrianized a little bit. So you might even get some people walking on them if they so decide to. And throw in a little bit extra there. Ah. You know what? Fine. That's annoying. And we have this nice little kind of market area where you can imagine the uh, local farmers could go and when people are getting off and going to their service area, you know, they might see that as a uh, place that they could utilize. And so the other thing I said I was going to do was get in a bakery and a flour mill. I think these two assets look relatively good together. And make sense being placed next to each other. weird. I have plenty of water. I'm going to reset this for now. I'm not really ready to deal with making a more formalized trash area. Oh, we'll deal with that at some point, but not yet. So what are we missing out on? Animal products. So I do have one little pasture back here, right? But not much else that would be generating us animal products. So that's something we need to keep in mind as we uh, continue. It also might be worthwhile to put in some storage for that at some point. But at some point that should send a truck out. Should go right to this bad boy. And the bakery should be up and running. So let's think about landscaping. So this area here, very much stark concrete, which I'm sure that's how it would be, but I'd like to get a couple of maybe planters in here. And we're going to put these right along this line to kind of line us up.
perfect. And we need to pick out some kind of tree that would look good here. I think uh, I already know where I'm going with that. The young lindens just never disappoint, right? adds a little bit more character to it for me. And then in here, we can use something a little more substantial, but we're going to want to space it out a little bit better. throw some additional nothing crazy but some hedges along there Perfect. It looks like our bakery is up and running as well. So I want to think about making a uh, little pedestrian connections through here. So we do have the concrete right here, so let's kind of around that for now and then let's see how this looks oh, I have a fence there but we can break that fence to grab it again. Whoops. Let's take off our snapping though. Get this right up to it. Just that. Yeah, you know what? I will take that over that. There we go. A little bit of walkability in there. We can add another one going this way. Now I would like my snapping back on probably for this. Um, I don't think we need this anymore. And then maybe up in here we can just get some generic tree coverage, kind of give it this outdoorsy kind of feel around our market. 
And we have this space here, which it seems like it would be great space for a park. Um, yeah, you could easily... I don't think any of these newer ones are going to fit. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe we will... Ooh. Wow. I mean, that... It's almost like if it fits, you have to use it. And I don't know if that will actually get used, um, but it looks good. I mean, that that was like made to be right there. And then let me turn on my lock forestry so I don't get rid of my... Oh, you know what? That's ugly. Let's get rid of that. Don't think we need that. Um, yeah, we don't want to get rid of the fertile land and leave the lock forestry off there. But that, that looks good. Yeah. What's going on here? Flower. We have some supply chain issues. We'll have to work that out. I guess, uh, I guess they can't just, like, forklift that over, huh? I mean, this, this just, this was exactly what I was looking for in here. Now we can zone that. And, you know, this little pond acid isn't... Probably my favorite thing. They could have done better with the water, but from a distance. I like this. This looks good. I do want to add a little bit more uh, landscaping to it, though. I like adding the little hedges in there. I think they add a, a good little, you know, barrier, if you will. It's not quite a fence. But it's, it's also saying, like, hey, like, this isn't your, this isn't your primary path for walking here. Maybe a couple of these. Tree anarchy's on. Why is, oh, because it's a network and you can't. I know what we can do. Good old move it, right? And then maybe uh, up here, a couple of those. Yeah, we're looking good. Um, just turn this into concrete. Seems like it's probably what it would be. And now I don't imagine much else is going to be uh, developed right up in here. So we can go right ahead and drop in some trees. And I'd like to clean this up a little bit. <clears throat> I might have to add another mod um, and get one of the themes that turns this into a more rock face because I've never been a fan of the vanilla look here. But if we go ahead and take these I 
think we can make something semi-nice looking. in here maybe expand out our town just a little bit oh really gotta get used to all the different anarchies I need to turn on and off, right? There we go. So we're just building out a little bit more of a frame for a town. I don't want this to get too large. Uh, you know, at some point I want this grid to break down and to really be rural, but I do kind of want this nice little, like, village area. Let me make sure we're still in the end. Perfect. Probably should have done this before zoning, but let's drop in our pass. And we could even turn this node into a crossing. You know what, before this develops right over here, let's say no to this idea and we're going to reserve that and use it as a well probably a school so our high school demand is still good but we're going to need an elementary school and i think this is a perfect place for one so we'll probably do that to wrap out this episode. So with elementary schools, I'd like to have parking as a consideration. Now, <clears throat> I try to include parking, um, but I, I have no idea the sense of what amount of parking would be realistic. For an elementary school, I would assume you don't necessarily need the same amount that you would need for a high school. Probably more than I'm going to give it, but that's okay. I still want to have some room to put some other assets in there for leisure for the children.
and then some kind of playground, which I am rapidly running out of room for. But we could probably fit it in. Yeah, that's gonna fit. And then let's add some kind of path from our parking facility. Oh, look at that. Level 3 farm. Oh, that was really simple. All right, well, I am going to do a, a little bit of detailing in here and call it a wrap for today. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.